Walker, Senator Warnock, you've said repeatedly that the exam room is too small for the patient, her doctor, and the U.S. government. We're asking you to take a clear position right now. Do you believe there should be any limitations on abortion set by the government? And you have 60 seconds. I think that the women of this country and the women of this state woke up one summer morning and a core protection that they've known for 50 years was taken from them by an extremist Supreme Court. And I stand where I, I've said I've stand in the past, that a patient's room is too narrow and small and cramped a space for a woman, her doctor, and the United States government. We are witnessing right now what happens when politicians, most of, most of them men, pile into patients' rooms. You get what you're seeing right now. And the women of Georgia, the women of Georgia deserves a senator who will stand with them. I trust women more than I trust politicians. May I, may I respond? Very quickly, Mr. Walker. Hey, uh, you know, it is, and I heard about him, that I heard he was, he, was, he was a neat talker, but did he not mention that there was a baby in that room as well? And also, did he not mention that he asked him, that he asking the taxpayer to pay for it. So he's bringing the government back into the room. So he's not talking about that. Right. So Look. when he mentioned that, it's like I've not seen too many pastors that would say that statement. I, Mr. Warren, I'll give you a chance I, to rebut. I am a pastor. I'm a man of faith. And I have a profound reverence for life and a deep <clears throat> respect for choice. And because I have such a profound reverence for life, it's one of the reasons why I've stood up to address this issue of maternal mortality in our country. We lead all of the Western nations on that front, and black women are three to four times more likely to die even when they have the insurance and the income. Now, that's something government could actually do something about. And I joined with Marco Rubio of Florida to pass a bill to address maternal mortality. The women of Georgia have a clear choice as we're watching women die. Do you want a senator who wants to control your life or do you want a senator who wants to save your life? Well, I want to save your life. Well, what's funny, we man, I, have to, I have to respond to this. Very quickly. Because he told me black lives matter. And if you think about it, Senator, in Atlanta, Georgia, there's more black baby that is aborted than, uh, than anything. So if black lives matter, why are you not protecting those babies? And instead of <laughs> aborting those babies, why are you not baptizing those babies? Mr. Warnock, or, or Senator Warnock, we'll give you a chance to respond to that. I, I think the women of, of Georgia have a clear choice. He says no exceptions, even in the case of rape, incest, or the life of the mother. I think that's extreme, it's out of touch with Georgia, and I intend to do the work that senators can do. See, he didn't Mr. read Walker, the heartbeat, we, read the heartbeat bill, though, wait. He didn't we've read the heartbeat forward, bill that there is exceptions for that in the heartbeat bill, so when he makes right, a statement that is Walker, untrue, that we need to and move I do on, respect okay? that, we've got a, that we've got a you lot have to get that bill. A follow-up question for you, Senator Warnock. Uh, we ask that you take a listen to something that you said at a rally just a couple of weeks ago. So women, I trust women in their wisdom and their ability to sit with their own doctor. Yes, right. And if they choose, to sit with their pastor. And to pray about that and let their own conscience guide them. Right. Even God gave us a choice. That's right, Even God gave us a choice. Can you clarify what you meant by that? You have 30 seconds. Oh, I, I think it's, it's, it's self-explanatory. God gave us a choice. And I respect uh, the right of women to make a decision. Uh, these are medical decisions. Uh, they are deeply personal. Uh, women find themselves in a range of circumstances. And this issue has been far too politicized. And we're witnessing right now the chaos that ensues as a result of that. And women right now who may be facing a miscarriage in some cases are wondering what will happen and how will they have to explain that. I think that's deeply problematic. There are enough politicians piling into the rooms of patients. And I don't plan to join them. So just to clarify, in your opinion, God gave us a choice in regards to abortion. I, I, it, it is apparent that God has given us a range of choices, and the people of Georgia have a choice right now about who they think should represent them in the Senate. And, and may I have to respond? Mr. Walker, we do have to move on to our next this topic. This will be very short, very short, because he's correct. God gave us a choice. But also within the Bible, if you read the Bible more, God said choose life. 
in the Bible, it says, I give you a choice. Just like Adam and Eve had a choice, but they chose death. Very quick, God says you Very choose. quick. Mr. Walker, we need to I, move I, forward. I think he wants to arrogate to politicians more power than God has. All right, gentlemen, thank you. We're going to have to move on to our next topic, okay? <laughs> Tina? Okay. We are moving on, gentlemen.